welcome back to another Medical Assisting Monday video. If you are just now coming upon this series, it is a series where every Monday I upload a medical assisting related video and I have an entire playlist listed down below with all the videos I've done so far. So if you are going to school to become a medical assistant or you want to go to school to become a medical assistant or you are a medical assistant or if you're just anyone, you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So for today's video, it is a video you guys have probably been on edge about. So if you guys saw last week's video, I talked about the difference between the CMA exam and the RMA exam. And I left out which exam I was going to take because I wanted it to be its own separate video where I talk about which exam I'm taking, why I'm taking it, and stuff like that. So last week, talked about the difference between the exams. So if you are wondering the difference between the exams, you can go back and watch that video. It'll be listed down below for you guys. This week, I'm going to be announcing which exam I am taking and why. And then next week, be sure to come back because I'm doing a video all about how I am preparing to take the exam, how I'm studying, what I'm studying, studying, what I'm using to study, and that kind of stuff. So the moment you guys have all been waiting for, I have decided on taking the CMA exam through the AAMA. And I came to this decision way back in September. And during one of my classes, the professors told us we don't need to know what exam we want to take right now and that our thoughts may change. However, I had my mind pinpointed on the CMA exam. From the get-go, my thoughts have not changed whatsoever, nor do I think they will. And if you guys saw my What I Got for Christmas haul, you guys know that I already am a member of the AAMA. I do have my card verifying that I am a student member as well. And I am super duper excited. Also very nervous, but excited. And my thoughts on this are if I don't pass it the first time, which I'm crossing my fingers that I do, that I will take some time and study, take it again. And if the second time I don't pass, I will go ahead and just take the RMA exam just so I have my credentials. And if I do pass the CMA exam. I'm obviously going to take my credential, use it, and then down the road I think I may want to go and take the RMA exam. You can go ahead and be credentialed in both, which can work in your favor because if an employer has a preference on one or the other and you have both, it makes things a lot easier. The reasoning behind why I'm taking the CMA exam in particular is because one, I want to challenge myself. From what I've heard from others who have taken the exam or who have taken both exams, all of them have said it is definitely a challenging exam and just overall I have done a ton of research from the second that I picked the exam back in September I have done research non-stop about the two exams and I just really like what the CMA exam offers and keep in mind which exam you take is totally up to you and your preference and you don't need to let anyone else make the decision for you and if you are watching this and you're really confused right now about the terms I'm using like CMA and RMA and you want to know the difference that's what I talked about last week and I will have that link down below. I think I've already mentioned that a few times but yes it will be down below for you guys and so that is the big announcement as to what exam I'm taking, why I'm taking it and like I said be sure to come back next week because I will be talking about how I am actually preparing to take the exam itself. I am really happy with my decision and I'm excited to finish out the program so I can actually take the exam. I am hoping to pass the first try. I am not going to be all like butthurt if I don't because it just means I'm not ready and I need to do a little bit more studying but I do have my fingers crossed that I do pass the first time and obviously as we get closer to the exam I'm going to be doing videos on how I'm feeling. I'll do an announcement on my test date. I will probably vlog my feelings the morning of the test and then let you know afterwards if I pass the test and where we're going from there. So be sure to stick around so you can follow my journey by clicking that subscribe button and joining the Ali Packa family where I upload new videos every week. I really hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys! Bye guys!